You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a fan favorite, <laughs> Paul Engel. Hey, Paul, how are I'm you? Good, good, Mark. How are you? Good. Our library director, mm -hmm. for those of you that don't remember, um, Paul and I are going to talk children's programs. All things children's today. Um, because we have uh, continued energy, new energy mm -hmm. in the children's room, um, which goes up to the teen room, which goes to the library as a whole. Just lots of things are happening. Right. And you got all these colorful flyers and posters and things <laughs> here in front of you. Um, what's the first thing we want to talk about? Rockabye Beats, a musical performance. It's um, happening on March 27th. The show begins at 11 a.m. And um, it's for, as most of our ch children's stuff is, this one is also sponsored through the Massachusetts Cultural Council right. through a grant from them. And we also do a lot with the Brockton uh, Cultural Council as well. So it's for birth to six years old. It's a, it's a hands-on learning experience uh, through music and dance. Mm -hmm. um, I, I remember when my kids were young, we would take them to these things too. Sometimes we'd just do it in the living room because we had all the instruments right in the house. And um, they're free. Yeah, and they're free, of course. And, 11 and o'clock I see on the fly yep, show begins at 11. 11 a.m. Okay. Uh, there's, there probably is a sign up as there is most, most things in the, t in the uh, children's room you have to sign up for it. Mm -hmm. But it's just one of the one thing we're doing this, this coming up and uh, we're doing a whole bunch of new programming for Children and teens. Next time I come on, we'll talk about teens. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. And I'm looking at <laughs> small foot upside down. Tell small me about foot. that. What do we got here? We got Saturday afternoon at the movies. So so we we do this coming up to uh, and in through April vacation week and, and then into the spring. Uh, we have Saturday movies. This April 6th, which is a couple weeks out, um, we have a movie, uh, Small Foot, as, as uh, um if you're under 12, you got to have an adult with you. If you're over 12, you can come by yourself. We usually have popcorn and things like that. In the, it's in the Lingos Auditorium, okay, the big room. And you sign up for it, and the show begins at, at 2. And, and um, we always have a, 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 just a great response from the community around these movies. And i got to tell you, the nice um, sound system that the Library yeah. Foundation put in there when I saw Newbie's documentary. That's it right. It really popped. I mean, yep. the picture looks good, and but the sound, yeah. it's Bose. Yeah, it's a Bose system. Okay, and that would have been the influence of Fred Howell, who used to work for Bose. Mm, I didn't, okay, yeah, I didn't I, he, he was the Bose man, and it sounds, it, it's, it's theater quality, yeah. for sure. Okay, what else you got? What else do we got? Baby birds in their nests, uh, ages two to eight. So we're mm -hmm. hitting that young young crowd again. The kids will learn about how birds choose their habitats and build their nests. Uh, and each children, each child there will build their own nest out of out of natural materials. That's also at the main library on the 10th of April from 11 or 10 to 11 a.m. And we have a limit on this one of 20 children. So okay. if you're hearing about this, call over to the library, stop by the children's room, and make sure you sign up for it. And then what we do is, be, right before the event, we make phone calls to the people that signed up, so they remember to come, and, right. and it helps attendance, and it helps people, re, you know, helps people remember. The children's <laughs> pro programs are very popular, and, and you only have so much space, right, for right. that one. Exactly. Okay, keep going. Flip the keep page. Keep going. What Flip else the page. Do we got? Dino Pops with Daphne Jacobs. Um, I mean, Dino Pops are you know little little uh, um, uh, cake popsicles, and then you decorate them. And this is, we do this a lot, and kids really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. We, it's it's, uh, it's going to be April 16th, so we're right at the beginning of vacation week. Okay. Uh, we, also need, uh, we also need to sign up. We're going to probably do this one in, in Lingos, I think, because we have a lot of people that come in for these. Well, school vacation weeks are especially busy at the yes. library. They're, yes. they're packed. There's, there's barely parking to get in there, which is a good problem, but there is a parking lot at the end of White Avenue that you can mm -hmm. get to to get down there because we get, what, 40 spaces in the main lot, and That's then, right. and then the other one's permanent, the street, so you yeah. can't really, you get some spaces you can go in. Okay, keep it yeah. going. What else we got? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a dinosaur theme for, dinosaur for Vacation theme. Week. So okay. we have uh, Dino Adventures, which is an all-ages event where we're going to have um, the... the um, uh, the zoo center, the family zoo and rescue center of Bolton, Massachusetts, is going to be up, and they're going to bring little animals that are kind of, you know, maybe I don't know if they'll bring uh, sharks and things that go back all the way to the to the dinosaur era, but we'll have fossils and we'll have maybe some some. It'll be a hands-on display and exhibit, and again, you got to sign up for it. It'll be in Lingos. 
Um, it's also a cultural council. Brockton Cultural Council has uh, sponsored this one, has, pay, has helped pay for this one. Um, these are the, these are always full and they're always fun. We've, we've had the New England Aquarium down. Mm -hmm. We've had other other groups in, but uh, this here is the dinosaur theme. Okay, and building up to the next one, which I think is dinosaur. Yes, it is Jurassic Junior. Jurassic Junior, uh, which is the 18th. So that would be Thursday, the last. That would be the Thursday of the vacation week, and this is where you learn about fossils and you um, uh, you basically you learn about how life was like back in, in the you know, millions of years ago in the, in the era, age of the dinosaurs. We have two sessions, one ages three to five at 10 a.m. And then the second group is, is a kindergarten to, to grade three at 10.40 to 11.40. Um, and uh, I don't know who's, who's coming in to do this. I'm looking at the sheet. But um, usually we have an outside group come and in. And it's all on the library website, it's, which it's is www.brockdenpubliclibrary.com. Dot org. Exactly, and go okay. to Event Keeper and, and scroll Event down. Keeper and it has the list. And Walk in Crafts. Walk in Crafts. This is all at the main library. I just grabbed these and came over here. But um, we are we are also doing things at the East and West branches. Okay. So, um, and I want to just talk a little bit about that because because sure. Jessica, our new children's librarian, has um, she's doing story times at both branches. We actually through the library foundation and and some volunteers from the from the uh, trustees, we were able to they, they volunteered and they painted and and we put in new ceiling tile and new floor in there. So that 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 West. Um, uh, basement room looks really nice, or it's looking really nice. We're nice. finishing that up so that we could have the story times back at West. Right. So, and, and so we'll be starting those up very soon, but we have them happening already at East, and Jessica's doing a great job. She has ones for very little kids, you know, the, 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 like the, the kind of the, the newborn to, you know, maybe two or one or two years old, and then she picks up at that and, and carries into to, to kindergarten age. And we're do, so we're starting those back up at East and West, and, and I know, we've, you know we're, we're building the attendance back. People are finding out about it. Word of mouth is happening. And so we're getting more and more people every week going to them. So Can't say there isn't anything to do with any of the libraries no. in Rockton, that's and, for sure. And that's a great And not thing. to mention all the groups that come in and use the facilities for their own, you know, a garden club that's and right. other groups. And library is a popular place to be. We're, yep. We've been working hard to make it a community center. You can go there and listen to music mm -hmm. certain days with the symphony. Yeah. There's history. There's art. There's a little bit of everything for everybody. And, of course, there are books, magazines, periodicals, computers, all of that stuff. That's right. Okay. And the phone number, the main phone number, if you want to find out more, if you just want to call. 508-580-7890. Is the main library it's main, main number. library number? Okay. Um, anything we might have missed, or anything you want to promo coming up? I think I got a minute, maybe. Got a minute. Um, minute. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Uh, uh, other than the fact that we are doing a lot of great things at the library, and it's never never dull there. We, we we you come in at any given time, and you could be hearing music in the in the in the lobby. You could be hearing poetry upstairs. You could see po uh, po political groups downstairs. We have, yeah. We have uh, we've had great. Uh, um, um, uh, documentaries and, and, and the people discussing and, and, and we're trying to do problem solving for, for the city's urban renewals and we, we, we're, we're in it all. Well, we're through the <laughs> April school vacation. We'll bring you back in April for May and, sure. and then we'll keep going from there. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Always Mark. a pleasure. Always. Good to see you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.